Let's get this party started. This song's so weird, I don't know when to say Yoko So at the proper time, but just wait for it. It'll be coming momentarily. Yoko So, Japanese Custaway. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues. You can see the title. We are almost up to 6,000 party members on Japanese Quest. Imagine a game. There are 6,000 possible party members that you can have in your party that is the situation right here almost we need eight more i think so welcome uh that just means on twitter no not on twitter on twitch we have almost six thousand followers each follower appears it says a new party member and uh really that's the way i think of it everyone's kind of on this journey even if just for a moment following we can imagine that person is a new party member here with us on this journey through Japanese games, learning Japanese. For anyone new, I'm a Japanese teacher. That is me. Here's another Japanese teacher. This is Griffin Sensei. The first party member on Japanese Quest was a cat. And uh, everyone else here, Ohio, good morning, good to see you. 
And today, let's make this power level go up. Let's add some new words. The goal, of course, over 9,000, which is roughly fluency in a language. 9,000 words. Anyone can add new words up here. The old words, such as very important nickel, cat, you can see down here. Let's go. So where are we? I think we're in a volcano. I always say a good place to start the morning. In a volcano. Oh no, we're getting chased by a lamp. What's going on right now? So yeah, we're in a volcano. How do we know? Because, uh... We got the kanji for fire. And the kanji for mountain. What's a fire mountain? Kazan. Volcano. Good word. Some people said the their favorite word in Japanese. So what do we do? Here's our adventure guide, Boken Gaido. What we do? Uh, Kazan no oku ni iki. So go into the deeper into the volcano. I'm guessing into this crazy part here. And then Kazan no Himitsu. Ooh, nice. We got a secret. We're looking for a secret. Ooh. We got one party member. I think that means we maybe need seven more, and we can get to our goal of 6,000 party members today. We'll see if we can get there. So welcome, Heinrich. We got a new party member. Let's go. You can come with us to the inside of this volcano. And inside this volcano, do you know what there is? Um, there's lava, but there's also language. It's a volcano filled with language, with words. We're going to learn Japanese in there. So Kazan means volcano. But inside this volcano is also Himitsu secret. There are secrets inside this volcano. And our goal is to shiraberu. This is the verb for to investigate. So we have to find the secrets of this volcano. Also, as we do so, find some more Japanese words too. So we level up because that's what we do. Sa. Whoa, the lamp caught up with us. So the game we're playing, of course, is Dragon Quest XI. Very good game for Japanese, by the way, because it has some good features, like a lot of voice lines, a lot of furigana. All these things are helpful. Do we want to waste all of our mana? I think we maybe don't. Because we're about to run out of mana with the hero. Yeah, good to see everyone. Good to see you. I'm well. Takamoto, how are you? I think he can do this technique, though. He's a bit more mana. We got a dragon. Let's go. The hype is real for Japanese learning on Twitch. Let's do it. Uh, Mama Luigi, yes, yeah, good question. It's used in kind of different ways. For example, you can say like Gisei ni naru to like some, some, something becomes a sacrifice, whereas you don't say that with the other word, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's used in some different ways. Gisei in general for sacrifice is more common. I think Ike nie, the one we saw in this game, is more like a living sacrifice because you see that kanji for life in there. Um, Like, Gise is used for just more general sacrifice, like having to sacrifice something, stuff like that. And the reason we learned that word, the word for sacrifice here, is because someone's mom is going to get thrown into this volcano as a human sacrifice. We don't like that. So we're going to stop it. Yosh. Stop attacking me, random lamps. I'm done with it. Ooh, by the way, I want to show you something. Uh, I updated all of our skill panel. But I did wait on one. 
because we finally got this uh, technique we've been saving up for. Um, check it out. Finally got there. Tsurugi means sword. Mai means dance, so Tsurugi no Mai. Sword dance, we finally got it. Quite a good technique. Let's get it. We got a host, thank you for the host. Let's go. Deeper, deeper into the volcano. We got dragons in this volcano. Oh yeah, is this place pretty hard? Interesting. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah, not sure if it's good to avoid everyone. Might make us just weaker in the end, but... Oh well. The boss does lots of damage. I'm pretty sure he can attack twice. That doesn't sound ideal. Oh, here we go. Hmm. So some good words. We could add some of these to make our power level go up, because that's, again, anyone new. That's what we do. So, koko de. So here... Ikidomari. That could be a new word, like a dead end. We reached a dead end. Someone could add that. Anyone can... Edit these words if you can find the list under uh, the level up panel on Twitch. Um, let's see. Hokani michi nante nakatashi. So it seems like there is no other path. Nanda yo. Nani mo nai jenai ka. So what's going on? There's nothing here. Huh. There must be some other secret. <sighs> yeah, we could really use a cam. Uh-oh, something's happening. I think we got cut off here. So, seems like nothing's here, just getting cooked by, uh... The lava. Yogan. Lava, good word. Um, so quickly, let's get out of here. Ooh, here's another good word we could add. So, G, or often usually it's chi for land, and then hibiki is like an echo. So, G hibiki is like the rumbling of the ground. That could be another word we add here potentially if party members want to add it. So, nani ga okotanja. So, what in the world's happening? Uh-oh. Ooh, good words here. So, Jimen. The ground. You can see the ground right here. We're listening to the ground. So, Jimen no shitakara. So, from down below the ground... Koega, there's a voice. Koe, voice. And, uh, Kono shitta ni nani ka iru yo. There's something below here. Again, shitta means down below. There's a voice. Hmm. Uh, yeah, similar to that, Screer. Uh, no, there's not an easy way to re-listen. It would be nice if there was. Usually that, like, a lot of visual novels have that feature. Um, I think even, like, certain games like 
Fire Emblem Three Houses, I believe, may have that figure that feature. Uh, this game is really good because it has it stops at every line at least. It's got a lot of voice lines. It has footy guns, so those are all good features. But yeah, I do wish you could go back and re-listen and like look at the log of the past lines. I do not believe it has that feature. Unless it's like deeply hidden because you've been playing this game over 150 hours now. But yeah, I don't think it has that feature. Unfortunately, that would be nice. But the features it does have is about the best you can get for this type of game, generally. Yeah, for Japanese, this, this is one of the best games, along with... Yeah, it's, it's on the easier side. Some games that have been talked about as being even easier to start could be Yokai Watch, that's a good one. Animal Crossing is quite good. Pokemon games can be quite good. Um, people like Nino Kuni as well. This one also quite good for a first game. Arewa. Hitokui. So a person eating. Here's the kanji for person. Here's the kanji for eating. Put them together. Hitokui. Person eating fire dragon. So ka is fire, just like kayobi. The day of fire, Tuesday. Doesn't Tuesday sound more exciting when you think about kayobi? Uh, and then ryu, dragon. And by the way, we had a dragon summoned before. A new sub there, so thank you for that fire dragon that was uh, summoned earlier. And down here we have a fire dragon. Uh, yeah, I believe that can mean cannibal as well, Mama Luigi. Hmm. So yeah, that is the, the person eating fire dragon. Shikashi. But every time you see a shikashi, shikashi, it's very good. because it, it means important information coming now. So shikashi, but uh, this person that we met who was injured, she supposedly defeated that dragon. So something is strange. Hmm. Ah, so this is what that woman that we met, the kind of village leader, Yayaku-sama, kore o kakushite tanda. So she hid this dragon. She hid the fact the dragon is still here. She could not defeat the dragon, it seems. Hmm. We, saw, we see this word again, taiji, to basically defeat a monster, to exterminate a threat. Taiji dekinakatta. She was not able to do it, so because of that, she hit him down here and didn't tell anyone about it. Hmm. Hahaha. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I knew there might be a comment like that because I'm sure that that there's some uh, Tuesday etymology in English too, but usually the the day is thought of as being the boring day in the week. But yeah, thanks for the comment. The fact that she's gonna be uh, my mom is gonna be sacrificed, thrown in the volcano too, all of it. Koitsunose. It's all her fault. So se is kind of fault. Koitsu is that person. It's all that person's fault. Hmm. Yeah, Kujo, exactly. And uh, so, hayaku, quickly. Minna ni kono koto o So 
we need to tell the people in the village what's happening. Satoni, Mororo, let's go back to the village for now. Hmm, so we're not getting attacked yet. There must be a way to go down there too, huh? Let's fight a dragon. Oh, that's not a dragon. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, I thought it might be boss battle time as well, but apparently not. Time to waste some mana. Yeah! Probably don't need that. Yosh. Cut that one. Oh, I Yo. So you might see there, I also linked the Discord again today. I didn't link it, but I guess I showed the command for it. Exclamation point Discord. That is because right now... On Discord, we are doing a summer reading club. If you're into the idea of reading Japanese this summer, seeing what other people are reading this summer, check out the Discord. Screer, there to the command. You can link to it. There's a new channel there called Quests, and we're giving out quests in a new channel called Summer Reading Club. There's a new quest today. Let me show it to you quick. Let's see. So all week we've been giving a different quest. Let's see what's the quest today. Let's take a look. So here's our words. We'll add some more words today. But the quest today, we've had all week a different quest. Quest one on Monday. Simple, find a thing to read in Japanese. Whatever it gets you to read, that's the good thing. Whatever you're motivated to read, find that. Quest two, this is kind of the general one. Read Japanese every day this summer. Might as well, even a little bit. It'll get easier every day. You'll level up every day. Why not? Even if you... Even if you use, like, a tool to do it. What else are you doing this summer? Might as well do it a little bit each day. Uh, quest 3. Make a goal. Make it specific. What is your reading goal this summer? For example, it could be read 15 minutes every day. It could be read 5 manga. It could be uh, finish your first light novel. Up to you. Quest 4. That was yesterday. Think of a way to reward yourself. Some people said they would get a new book. Some people said... Uh, what else did people say? They might get like a new game. Some people said they might get some kind of like food reward. It's up to you. And quest five, this is today. Share your progress. And not just share your progress, but have a way to measure your progress. Maybe I should change that. Find a way to measure your progress. Also, share your progress so others can be inspired. Uh, let's go back to... I think I might edit and change the one I put on the Discord. So we have the Discord here. Check it out. Um, here is Summer Reading Club right here. So share your progress. Um, I think I might edit that. Let's edit that. Find a way to measure your progress also. Share your progress. Example, make a book meter so you and others can see your progress. Make a Summer Reading Club bookcase on book meter, etc. And I'll show you what book meter is. It's a great website um, that Japanese people use to show what books they read. And it could be great for uh, learners as well. So, on the Discord, just you can show your book meter, you can show your progress, and let me show what I mean. 
So here is my book meter. This is my name. Akira Sensei, anyone new? I'm a Japanese teacher. The cool thing here, it shows your progress. It, it, it tracks how many pages you've read. This is your pages. It tracks how many books you've read. This is over time, of course, not just for this uh, reading club. I've read over 200 books you can see here, over 60,000 pages you can see here. That's over the past, you know, five, six years. So don't think you need to read that many books or something. Um, for this book club, I've just read these two. And let me show you what I mean about making a, a bookcase too. You can make hondana. Hondana means bookcase. I've made a few, but the one for reading club, I put up here. You can name it, Summer Reading Club 2021. You can easily make an account if you have just like a Google account or a Twitter account or a Facebook account. Um, you can just directly make that. You don't need any new login for Bookmeter. Um, and then you can just easily make a new bookcase. How do you make one? Just say Atarashi Hondana o Tsukuru. Just click on that. Just make the name. You can say Summer Reading Club, just like mine is. Just to show you how you can make this easily. And then other people can see your progress. Let's just do the one that would be for next year. Just let's talk about the future. I can delete this later. But just to show you how to make it. So this is the future, Summer Reading Club 2022. Will we do it next year? I don't know, maybe. But uh, then you can just add books. Hon o Suika. So let's add some books. All the books you've read, you can just pick them. So I read these two books for the book club so far, but let's just say these other books I've read. I like this book a lot. Yoichi Night Market. Let's add that one. Um, ooh, Shika no O. The Deer King. I love that book. Let's add that. Uh, Buta Buta. Great book for learners. I'll add that. Colorful. Great book for learners too. I'll add that. These two manga I just read. Great book for learners as well. Penguin Highway. Good for learners as well as is uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. Recently I've been reading good books for learners so I'll put a few of those on there. Um, the Day Cats Disappear from the World. Also good for learners. I'll add that. That's good. And now I will say that's good enough for now. So now you have all those books and you can order them how you want. Uh, let's say... So I just read this one first for the book club. Then I read Flying Witch 2. I finished that yesterday. Um, and if you want to click on books, you can. And that's what you do. You can make your own bookcase. And then you can, you can see years from now what you read for this summer reading club this summer. And other people can see what you read too. So share your book meter on the Discord. You can share your bookcase like I made here. If you want to, I'll share mine later on. And... Uh, yeah, it's kind of easy. It's just a good way to kind of motivate yourself, see your progress. It's a good way to keep up with your uh, with your reading, keep motivated, and just to know what you read. Let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? I've been counting text bubbles. I can finally read and comprehend every five pages I read. Nice. Ah, konnichiwa. Good to see you, Rolento. I started to create a spreadsheet like yours for my playthrough Chrono Trigger. Ooh, that's a great way to measure progress, too. Yeah, you can do it in a different way, whatever way works for you. Kelly says, I think I'll make a bookshelf for this summer, too. Sweet. That sounds awesome. Yeah, you could just call it something like Summer Reading Club 2021, and then just show what books, show what manga you complete, and then you'll know. And other people can see, too, and get inspired for them to read as well. Looks good. Let's go back to our word list so we can add new words as we go. But yeah, anyone who wants to check out the Discord there, join the Summer Reading Club, that's what we do. Uh, what's the link to the bookshelf thingy? Uh, yeah, good question. If someone could link Bookmeter, the website is called Bookmeter. And it's just a, a website for, uh, you can make an account quite easily because you can just link your Google account or your Twitter account or whatever account. You can link it. You don't need an additional login. Um, you can make a book meter account. Thank you for linking it, Kelly and Kanji. And uh, it's just, it's the best website there is for logging what Japanese books you read because you can just type in a book, find the link, on Amazon, they have all the Amazon books there, and then you can just uh, show all the books you've read. It tracks your stats, tracks your pages, 
um, how many books you've read, and like when you read them. Um, ooh, let me show you one more thing too. That's really useful. Then you can make a bookshelf on it. So again, here's book meter again. This is the bookshelf you can make. You can make all these different bookshelves. If you do atarashi hondana o tsukuru, so make a new bookshelf. Uh, this one is just an example, so I can delete this. Let me show you. I can I can delete this too. Um, hondana o sakujo. I can delete that one. Summer Reading Club 2022, Sakura Yoshimasu would you delete this height? So the real one here is for this year, and so far, I've just read these two books. And you can click on the books in the bookshelves. You can see this one is uh, To Your Eternity, Fumetsu no Anata'e, To You Who Is Immortal. It's a really cool site because all these people in Japanese review the books you see it's also linked to similar books you can click on these people and see what books they like if you like a book you can see what they're reading you can follow them if you want to it's just really useful you can mark these books too as already read you're currently reading you own the book or you want to read the book let me go back to my profile and show you what i mean you can also look at rankings of course things like that it's just a really useful book if you want to read in japanese so again these graphs are really cool for tracking what you've read um, so this is Yonda Hon. All the books I've read are linked here. If you want to see all the books I've read, you can click here. By the way, if you just look up my name, Akira Sensei Book Meter, I think you'll find this. And uh, so this is useful too. People can check what books you're reading or you can check what other people are reading. And you can just rem remind yourself what you're reading. So Yondaru means currently reading. Hon means book. So Yondaru Hon. These are the books I'm currently reading. So I just started this manga, Cells at Work. People recommended it in stream, so I'm reading that. Here's a light novel I'm reading too, that I saw recommended. Kagami no Kojo. It's the uh, solitary castle in the mirror. Kagami here means mirror. This is a book I got the library that I still want to finish in the next week or so. Uh, these three books I haven't read for a while, but I was reading, so I'd like to pick them up again sometime, but I still have them on my, on my, on my list. And uh, here's some books I own. Here's some books I want to read, kinda. I might change that list later. Um, yeah, but in general, very useful site. You can make these cool bookshelves as well. Also links back to the Japanese Quest, Twitter and Twitch. Sweet, let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? So yep, here's the link if you want to check out that site. Highly recommend it. Check out our uh, Discord as well, because on the Discord, we're kind of running this uh, summer reading club. If you're into that, join it. Ohio, good to see you. Uh, yeah, it's very much like the Japanese Goodreads. And I've never joined Goodreads, but uh, Book Meter. It's really good if you want to read Japanese uh, manga, books, all of that. Okay, so where are we? We are here. Yeah. Let's talk to the mom. This is the mom that's going to be sacrificed, thrown in the volcano. Let's see what she says. Eh? Eh? Yakuma sama to Harima sama ga taoshita hazu no. So what? That fire dragon? That supposedly they defeated is still alive? Eh? Uh, so Kali and Kanji says, I, I like that it'll show you other people's reviews of the books you read. Yeah, that's a really, 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 really... Probably the best part of it. Because as you're starting to read Japanese, or even if you've read Japanese for a while and even if you are Japanese just seeing everyone's perspective on that book is hugely helpful in forming like your reading skills because you see different perspectives why people like it what's interesting about it and that can inform your reading it can inform your development in the language uh yeah that's a good technique I, th I think we don't have that yet but yeah it is really strong and I do want it 
At the same time, though, I don't know if we need it at, at this moment. Uh, Kuma 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 Bear. I'm not sure if it's free everywhere, but it's definitely free for the web novel version. And I know at times, I think it's at least free with Amazon Unlimited. I'm not sure if it's like straight up free right now, but I think it has been at times. So if that's the case, the village is dangerous. Yeah, I can't move from here for now. You must tell everyone about the, the fire dragon. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, that book that was mentioned in chat, Kuma 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 Bea. Basically, the title means like bear, 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 bear. Yeah, Unboxus is reading it right now, I believe. Yeah, I kind of read both, so it is pretty much the same content, Unboxus. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, um, but it's very, very similar. Because I believe, yeah, I, I did kind of check both when I read it. And I read the manga as well, at least some of it. Yeah, it's a good first book because it's, it's written very simply. Of everything that I've seen on that web novel site, Shosetsu, um, it's kind of the most simply written. Like, for one thing, like, each line pretty much just has one sentence generally. It's just helpful to get through and read and make sense of. Yeah, I, I, I'm all, it wouldn't surprise me if it is different and I'm, and I'm totally wrong, but as I recall, it was pretty similar. In general, those books on there that get published are pretty similar in my experience. Like, the slime book to Reincarnate as a Slime, I think is quite similar. Ushio Kutense, quite similar. Although that one I did not read, the uh, published version, to be fair. Yeah, we haven't saved for a while, so I'm thinking we should, because I feel like we might have... For one, we all want to heal for one thing. For another thing, we might die. So let's save. Yeah, Kujo, good comment. I was an English teacher in Japan for two years, so I know what you mean about a lot of learning books not being the best, but I have to think there's so much content about English learning now. There must be some good books out there. I just don't follow the topic as much these days. I'm more into teaching Japanese these days than teaching English, even though I am licensed in both, technically. ESL and Japanese are my licenses. Ah, nice. Thanks for the link there. So there is Kuma 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 Bear. Ah! Konnichiwa. Hello. Wait, wrong link. Oh no, don't click on it. There we go. Do you think we'll always have links with the internet the way we do? If you think about it, doesn't it kind of seem weird that, like, we have to have these long URL things? Doesn't that seem kind of like something that will go away someday? It just seems, like, kind of weird. I don't know. I just feel like we're kind of in the, still, like, the ancient times of the internet, and sometimes I feel like that. Like the future, what will the future of the internet be? Completely different than now, you have to think. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't it feel kind of archaic, the URL thing? Like, it looks like something that's going to be like in the ancient times of the internet that people will be like, 
what? It uses URLs? Like, what? How old are you? You know? I feel like it's gonna be that kind of thing someday, maybe. Yeah, something like that. It just seems like it's gonna be, it's gonna be streamlined eventually in some way. It seems to me. Like, it might be part of the code or whatever, but the way, like, we have to link them and, like, see them and all this, yeah. just, I don't know if that's gonna stick. Yeah, it does seem like that kind of thing. So let's save here by praying. Yeah, and it's true. I don't know the form it would take. It just seems to me it's going to definitely evolve in time. I mean, it already has evolved quite a bit, but it will continue to. Good, we got our mana back. That's always good. When did they first invent QR codes anyway? Weren't those invented in Japan? Not sure on that one. But I know Japan has some connection to them, I believe. So yeah. Japan had the patent for uh, QR codes, didn't they? Toyota. Hmm. Interesting. 94? Wow, I didn't know it was that long ago. So here we go. Time to tell everyone their leader is a, a fraud and in league with a dragon. I'm sure that will go well. We will see. It might very well be a boss fight. So I guess we could have just saved here, but maybe not heal here. Mama, I like both. I don't really care. I also don't really care about spoilers, usually. It's like, I kind of have a philosophy of everything already exists if I know about it. So what? I can still enjoy it. First time playthrough for this game? No, I did play through this game in English, like, a while ago. First time playthrough in Japanese, though, for me. Early in the playthrough, I would check the script a little bit once in a while, um, but I have not done that for... months. So yeah, we're playing blind. In Japanese anyway. Uh, is this a question for me? Do you do a lot of stuff in your free time in Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> I basically live in Japan even though I don't live in Japan. Um, in fact, I kind of pretend that I do live in Japan. So yeah, I watch Japanese TV. I read Japanese books every day. Um... I, I watched the news every day recently in Japanese. So, yeah. Yeah, there's some very noticeable differences in the translation. Um, one major one we noted is that uh, the, the character Sylvia is Silvando. 
in the English version much more kind of masculinized, where it's Sylvia here, and just in general, a lot more feminine language and things in the Japanese version, the original. So that's one major difference we've found. Uh, let's see. Oh, nice. So I, this is not a question for me. Okay, so Screer, I read at least one news article, some YouTube videos, play a little bit of Japanese games every day. Nice, nice. Yeah, what does everyone do in Japanese every day? What do you enjoy doing in Japanese every day? Yeah, Japanese is a country, but there's so much content on the internet with the power of the internet. It just kind of expanded Japan in a sense. Like, look at look at a. Uh... So this is v video game Japan. You can join Japan this way through games, but let's just look at Japan too. So this is Japan. It's an island, but really because of the internet, it's kind of been expanded in a major way. So you can really visit Japan. Like if you think about it, if you're just in like. A building, an apartment. Think about it. Is that really different than an apartment or a building in any other country? Not so much. So what you do while you're there can kind of transport you to Japan or even more south, Australia, um, Europe, the US, Antarctica, wherever. You can kind of transport yourself. It's up to you where you want to live in your mind and with what you do. The internet, you can kind of teleport anywhere. So yeah, I don't live in Japan, I live in the US, but in my mind, and I often say it, I do actually live in Japan with much of my time because uh, I go here consistently by reading books. They're set in Japan, written by Japanese people, um, by watching Japanese news. Um, the same way as if I lived in Japan. So really, in a lot of ways, I do live in Japan in a strange way. And I recommend doing that if you're serious about a language. Um, transport yourself there through the magic of the internet and uh, expose yourself to language. That's how you learn. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Oh my goodness, I'm not, I'm not knocking living in Japan at all. I love living in Japan. I lived in Japan for two years. Highly recommend it. In fact, I, I recommend everyone, if you ever have a chance, do it. Live in Japan. I may do it again. I may very well do it again. So yeah, I'm in no way knocking living in Japan. By all means, do it. Um, I loved it. One of my favorite places I've ever lived, if not the favorite. But my whole thing is, I'm kind of of a mindset where I'm, I found that I'm kind of max happiness, max confidence, no matter what. I'm doing or where I'm living, so it doesn't really matter if I live in Japan or live in the U.S. or live in Thailand or or wherever. It doesn't really matter. You can have a lot of fun and learn whatever you want to learn, no matter where you are. Now I live in the U.S. because I've got a lot of family and friend roots here. That for now it's a good place to live, but in time that could change, and I may very well live in uh, Japan again someday. Uh, yeah, I would never use this word infatuation, so I'm not going to read the rest of that comment. But if you have another question, I can answer it. Uh, but yeah, to me, infatuation means like an obsession, and I don't really view it that way. I just happen to want to be bilingual and enjoy the language. Uh, and the other question is, that's a bit too long too, so yeah, let's go back to the game. Where are we? I think we want to go here, probably. Yeah, fair enough. Don't worry, I don't take any offense. Um, we can learn English, we can learn Japanese. Uh, and yeah, if you're not a native speaker, um, your English is very, very, very good. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, um, yeah, I don't go around saying to everyone I meet all the time, oh yeah, you know, I I live in Japan, I love Japan, etc., etc. No, I don't do that. So yeah, I I agree with you. I don't always bring it up all the time. Um, 
But yeah, it depends on who you're talking to. And I mean, and you weren't even wrong in your word. Like in a, in a certain sense, the word you use probably is correct. And a lot of people might say that. But the way I think of it is, um, it's pretty simple. I just want to be bilingual in a way. Like I know English. I decided one day I want to know another language. And then a dragon appeared, summoned by Game Grammar. And this dragon said, you know what? It might be cool to learn another language too. How about Japanese? And I said, oh, might as well. I did take Japanese in college. So then I decided, how does that work? How do I do that? How do I truly be bilingual? And the answer I realized was simply use Japanese every day in a way that's fun. That's really what it boils down to. And that can come in the form of video games, that can come in the form of books, that can come in the form of manga, all the things I like anyway in English, I just switched it all to Japanese. That's all it really takes, that's all I did. And by the way, you don't need a, you don't need a dragon to appear, you don't need that. The dragon part, that's optional. But uh, if you want it, here's another dragon appearing to you, whispering in your ear, hey, do you want to be bilingual or trilingual or however many lingual you already are? Uh, learn Japanese, it's easy. All you do is everything you like to do anyway, games, manga, anime, books, whatever it is, maybe it's, I don't know, learning about paper mache, whatever it is, switch to Japanese, um, play games in Japanese, read in Japanese, just switch all, the th all your hobbies, switch to Japanese, and then boom, eventually you will be fluent. That's how it works. <laughs> Pretty much game grammar, thanks for the sub. And uh, by the way, I really enjoyed your stream yesterday Like when you're talking about... Um, what's that site that you talked about? Dang it, I don't remember things. Because uh, I don't care about this site. That's why I don't remember it. But uh, what was the site? It's the one... Yeah, Duolingo. The site that's like the biggest language learning free site. Duolingo, yeah. What was your final verdict on the site? I want to hear. Because I missed the end of it. I, I saw your verdict on uh, the Kana. And you said the Kana was, I think you said it was it was okay for learning Kana. Not the best, but pretty decent for learning Kana was my sense. So your overall verdict was not bad, not good enough to recommend. Yeah, how did you find it was for stuff other than Kana? Because I have heard that for Kana, it can work for Kana. It's kind of decent for Kana. Beyond Kana, I don't know. Like, I haven't heard enough to know beyond Kana. Is it worth it? Um... Okay, so that's kind of what I was thinking too, and what I was thinking you might... I was thinking your verdict would be that, that other than Kana, I think it's very subpar. Okay, so your verdict was very subpar, other than Kana. I kind of thought that would be your verdict, because that's kind of what I think from just what I've seen about it and heard about it from other teachers and things. Um, but what I have heard that for Kana, and just because it's so easy to find and, and download and, and just do, I think for a gateway into Kana and just into the basics of Kana, I think it can be helpful. But beyond that, there's probably other good options. Game Grammar says, I was very surprised with some of the stuff on Duolingo. They have pretty good ex explanations of some of the grammar. Really? They just don't show you. Interesting. You got to click on the info thing and that's kind of hidden. Hmm, interesting. By the way, everyone, if you don't know, Game Grammar, also a Japanese teacher on Twitch. Check them out. Follow them. Because what we do, we spread the hype for Japanese language learning all around Twitch. And uh, so, yeah, find Game Grammar. Follow them. That is what we do. That's part of what we do here. So, yeah, there's different opinions, obviously, for a lot of people who started with Duolingo. They understandably like it or recommend it. And I think to me it's good simply because anything that's going to like make more people learn Japanese to me is good. And because Duolingo is so huge and it's a gateway into the language, just in, in simply that sense, to me it's good. Um, even if you don't have like a non-perfect gate into Japanese, I'm okay with having more non-perfect gates. In fact, I consider this stream to be one of those non-perfect gates. I don't think this stream is optimized for learning in any way, really. Uh, and I and I realize that, and I'm very conscious about that, and I say that a lot. 
But what I do think is this could be a fun way to start getting an exposure and possibly a gateway and a way to have fun and relax with Japanese. I think it's good to have different ways of kind of starting or uh, continuing in the Japanese language. I think Duolingo now can be one. I think this channel can be one. I think Game Grammar can be one. Um, a lot of YouTube channels, whatever, they're all good in a way because they're all part of the journey. They're all part of this community of enjoying Japanese and this shared Japanese quest. It's not just this channel, it's kind of a bigger thing. Uh, so Monkey says, just here to steal your new words from my Anki deck. Yeah, sounds good. Oh no, you're sick, Game Grammar? That's not good. Please, don't die. You're not allowed to die. <laughs> All right. Taihenda. Taihenda. What's she talking about? She's talking about game grammar because game grammar is sick. Um, so she's freaking out. Game grammar is sick. Plus there's a dragon in the game. なんだてば想像し今大事な祈りの儀式の最中だぞ So what are you talking about being so loud? Ima So now we have our important prayer ceremony. So daiji important inori prayer gishiki ceremony saichu during combine all of that we are currently in the middle of a ceremony, a prayer ceremony. And what kind of ceremony? Ah, it's important. Daiji no inori no gishiki no saichu. That's all. This word, in the middle of something, saichu, we have maybe not learned yet. Someone could add that to our power level. In fact, I may try to add it because we've, we've added no words yet today. And uh, I think we should power up by now. I'm not sure if we learned this word yet, but let's check if we have or not. Let's change to Kana. Okay, in the middle of, in the midst of, in the course of, N3 word, common word. Let's see if we've learned it yet. We probably have. Knowing us, we've learned over 3,000 words. We've probably learned it. We've hit a lot of N3 words, but let's just see. We have, ah, uh, we have. It's green. Any other words you see that we haven't learned? Um. Ooh, what about Sozoshi? That pro we have probably have not learned. So noisy, loud, boisterous, N2 word, common word. Come on, let's have it be a new word. Let's go. So that is a new word, noisy. Notice here's the kanji. Uh, why do you think they didn't use the kanji in the game? Any ideas? Yeah, good comment. It's kept in hiragana because kids don't learn that kanji in elementary school. Yeah, that may well be why. And it's just kind of also a busy kanji to put in there. Often in this game, they might show hiragana or katakana instead. Sweet. Go back to the game. Power level's now gone up. Look at the bottom right. Going up now. Let's go. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is going up. Hmm. So it's not the time for that. It's not the time for prayer. Uh, why? Because this fire dragon, this Hito eating fire dragon, is alive. And uh, this word for, like, cannibal or person-eating, um, if we have not learned it yet, we could add that. I think we have learned that, though, so maybe let's not add that. Okay. What are you talking about? So that fire dragon was defeated by our village 
leader right here. Her name is uh, Yayaku-sama. Hmm. So yeah, that dragon is not dead. Shinde Nainda. So you've probably heard. Holy kitty, what are you doing? Aki, what? Please stop. Please. Jesus Christ. Aki. He knocked out my mouse and like the batteries fell out. Um, so technical difficulties, kitty attack here by Aki. Oh no, my switch fell over as well. That is not good. Let's hope we can keep things going. Please don't destroy Japanese quest Aki. All right, um, Chotto matte. I see the other battery that fell out. Just give me a second. These kitties are insane at times. What Aki did, he like jumped up, landed on like the back of a chair and was like scrambling up it, but couldn't get up it because it's all like metal and like weirdly patterned. And then he fell off of that and kind of jumped back, landed on the mouse, kicked it, um, the mouse flew open. This is the mouse that I draw on the screen with, so that's not ideal. But I think we're okay. Kitty, please calm down. Please don't come up here yet. Ah, I found it. The back of the mouse. I'm going to take my headphones off for a minute. That Aki kitty is one of the craziest kitties around when he's in crazy mode. Luckily, he has calmed down as an adult, but still, there are times. Okay, are we fully operational? Let's see. Does the mouse still work? The mouse seems weird. It seems like it's like a lot more sensitive or something. Oh uh, yeah, good comments up there in chat that I'm seeing. Yeah, it seems like my mouse sensitivity for some reason changed. Why would that be? Isn't that odd? Well, I'm sure I could fix that later. Huh. Yeah, it's true. Aki hunted that mouse real well. I can't properly draw on the screen now because it's, it's too fast, but uh, I think we can live with it. All right, let's keep going. So the dragon is not dead. Uh, the dragon called Aki even attacked my mouse here. And so, yeah. Kono. Yeah, I cannot write on the screen anymore. It's very weird what he did. I don't understand why it'd be messed up now. Kono me de mitara machigai nai. So, yeah, there's no mistaking it. What, you entered the volcano, but there's monsters in there. How did you do that? So in the mountain path, there was no monster because that monster was me. So yeah, this kid had posed as this monster. Wow, I really cannot control his mouse properly anymore. This uh, monster controlled by this kid. 
Like, it's strange that you... Like, it... did it, like, break something in the mouse or just change a setting? Like, I don't get why knocking on the ground would make my mouse sensitivity different now. It's odd. What? Yeah, so I pretended to be a monster, and I took the sacrifice, and uh, so I won't let you do that ceremony. I'm not going to let you sacrifice my mom, is what he really means. Some mice have a, have a button on them that controls sensitivity. Uh, a button on them? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, but that's a good idea. Usually be small behind the scroll wheel. Oh yeah, maybe. There are some buttons behind the scroll wheel, I'm not sure what they do. Oh yeah, you're totally right, that did do it. Huh. Thanks, Unboxious. There's a button that seems to like change the sensitivity up and down. I didn't even know that. So let's see. That seems much more what I normally do. Because you need the ability to, like, point out each individual kana, or circle each individual kana. Can I do that now? Yeah, I can. Arigato! Unboxes. MVP. Arigato. Okay, now we, now we can go. Come on. I'm sorry I'm not translating it, but come on. Like, human sacrifices, they don't do anything. Come on. So, what, you, you don't know? If we don't do the human sacrifice ceremony, here's the word for ceremony. Uh, then... The fire god will be angered, and the village will be in a sea of flame. How do you say sea of flame? Well, sea is umi. You modify that with uh, fire, so he no umi ni naru. This village will become a sea of flame. Ooh, Tokyo Sam, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome. Welcome. So what we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. That's what we do. I'm a Japanese teacher based in the US, so uh, welcome. If you're into that, um, feel free to follow. You can join us on this journey. Um, yeah, today we're almost up to 6,000 party members. And here we got one more. So uh, to M Tools, Yokoso, Japanese customer. Welcome. <laughs> Tokyo Sam says, hey bro, you inspired me. Hey Tokyo Sam, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, what specifically do you mean though? What do you, what do you mean? I'm just curious, what do you mean I, I inspired you? What was, do you mean like something on your stream or something? You change or something? Or what do you mean exactly? Um, anyway, appreciate the shout out. By the way, check out Tokyo Sam. Can we get a shout out um, with our shout out command on our stream? I think we have a command exclamation point shout out. People can check out Tokyo Sam, who is a streamer who is based in Tokyo, I believe. Um, and also a YouTuber who's based, I believe, in Tokyo. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, your, your name Tokyo Sam, so I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Um, New party member, welcome. 
Let's go. So yep, check out Tokyo Sam. Last playing, just chatting. Sweet. Exactly. Satoshi, that is right. So let's just go to the next line. So yeah, we're just saying this person, they're pretending they're a hero, they're really not. What they're really doing is they are deceiving people in the village. So, Sato no hito tachi wo damashite takuse ni. So even though you're deceiving the people in the village, here's the verb, damasu, to deceive. Uh, who are they deceiving? It's marked with the object particle here. So hito tachi, the people are being deceived. What kind of people? We can modify it with where they're from. Sato, the village. So the village people are being deceived. Probably not the band, but like the people in this actual village. So Tokyo Sam, honestly, you honestly inspired me. I agree with your viewers from the last time we talked. Seniority doesn't mean expert in anything. I live in Japan. I need to be constantly learning Japanese, so I'm going to do more streams when I'm studying Japanese with retro games with my viewers. Very cool, yeah. To be honest, that's that's really cool to hear. Um, and again, check out Tokyo Sam's stream. Um, and it sounds like there will be more retro games in Japanese, which is awesome. And yeah, I'm curious, what retro games might you be playing? We were playing Police Knots for the PS1. Ah, oh, I did not know that one. Mostly JRPGs and visual novels. Yeah, very cool. That's the games we focus on, too. I still haven't done visual novels just because there's so much language I think it could overwhelm the viewers potentially but I think someday I'd like to do that one game I would like to play is Raging Loop a visual novel that I loved playing when I played it by myself uh, but yeah we like to play games with stories so you can get the language and dig into some new vocab by the way anyone new you can see these words down here these are words from previous streams on Japanese Quest and uh, yeah check out the words you can learn some new words as you do your power level can go up. It's kind of how a language works. How many words you know is roughly, not actually, because you need to you know, you know how to use the words, but roughly, that is your power level in the language. And our goal here is very simple. Have fun with Japanese and make that power level go up. So words like... Ore. You might have heard a lot in anime, for example. For example, uh, One Piece. I'm the one who will be the pirate king. You might have heard that. Very useful word. So the hope is as we go, you can pick up some useful words here and there. As we find new words, anyone can add new words right here. Anyone can edit this. You can find this in the level up section on our Twitch page. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's find some new words. Let's go. Yeah, I agree with you, Tokyo Sam. I... I basically won't play video games now if they're not in Japanese. Um, and actually, I don't really even read books if they're not in Japanese now. Simply because I don't live in Japan, I need to switch all of my hobbies to Japanese just to keep up my Japanese. I just realized at a certain point, like if I truly want to be bilingual, I just need to switch all my hobbies that I enjoy already, like reading, um, movies, uh, games, and just switch all that into Japanese. So that's what I do. And I recommend anyone else, if you're into learning a language, do the same. In a way, it's kind of easy. Just switch your hobbies into the language you want to learn. You will automatically pick it up. That's how the human brain works. You'll just recognize patterns over time. You just get used to it. Uh, Timber Shake, Konnichiwa. I think I remember you. Were you the person who's from Malaysia? If so, hello. I'd like to go to Malaysia someday. Yeah, I agree. I I rarely play games in English. I actually did play this one in English before because I was playing with a friend, and once in a while I'll do that if, if it's someone who doesn't who owns the game in English. I might do that once in a while, but in general, if it's ever just me playing the game, I'll never play a game in English anymore. Let's see here. Yep. Yeah, 
Hmm. Yeah, so he's telling now the truth. You did not defeat the dragon, specifically the fire dragon. We see here the kanji for fire plus the kanji for dragon. So what's he saying about it? So Karyu o taose nakatta. You were not able to defeat the fire dragon. And so just to save yourself, you kind of sold everyone else in the village out. Yeah, so basically the key word here is in katakana. Sometimes katakana is kind of used as like bolding to make something more clear. In this game in general, uso, the word lie, has been in katakana. Um, but it, kind of, it does kind of stand out if you look at it with the katakana here. So uh, the key word here, you're a liar. You're lying. Uso. So all you're saying about like the rage of the the fire god if you don't sacrifice my mom, it's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah, they're just going to be eaten by the dragon. That's all that's going to happen. So Oh no, do we have like this delay again? Oh no, we have this delay again that we had before. I wonder if that happened from the kitty messing things up too. Oh well, it's not that bad, so I think we'll just roll with it for now. So yeah, when you fought with the dragon, the fact that you were saved too... And so at that time, too, the person that was with you, they became a sacrifice as well. By the way, welcome to the new party member. Um, Parker, Glorious, Num, M Tools, everyone who's joined. Thank you to the new party members. Let's check how many party members we have. What are we at now? I'm not sure. Ooh, nice. I see someone too made a a bookshelf for our summer reading club. Ooh, we are almost, it looks like we need four more possibly to get, ooh, we got a sub as well. Thanks for the dragon. The hype is real for Japanese learning on Twitch. Let's go. And uh, it looks like we're four followers away from having 6,000 party members, which is pretty cool. Almost up to that threshold so let's check one thing on our discord as well so right now if you want to check out our discord someone can link it in chat we have a summer reading club we just started it's kind of an experiment first time we're trying it but let me show you how it works so we have this new discord channel for quests we're giving out some quests and today we had quest 5 the main quest is read Japanese every day. That was quest two. But today, quest five, find a way to measure your progress. Also, share your progress. Inspire other people, share your progress. An example, how can you do that? Make a book meter. Book meter is kind of like a, it's a website, kind of like a Goodreads, but for Japanese books, it's the most popular one in Japan. So I recommend making a book meter so you and others can see your progress, track your progress, and then, even better, make a summer reading club bookcase. So make a bookcase on that site so people can see what you read, you can remember what you read, even later on. So Kelly said, I made a summer bookshelf, sweet. Added my recently read manga to it, since I read them in the beginning of June, even though they weren't part of the club. Yeah, that counts. I read a, I added one manga that I started in June as well. Let's click on that. Let's see Kelly and Kanji's bookcase and see how that looks. You can make your own. So it's easy to, to join the site. You can, If you have like a Google account or a Twitter account, you can automatically just make an account. It's quite easy. So let's check it out. So Kelly and Kanji, this is your profile. And uh, you can check out under Hondana, the bookcases. Let's see what those are. 
you can see me there too if you want to click on click on the Japanese quest. Uh, my account as well. You can see all the 200 plus books I've read, plus the bookshelf for this summer reading club. So here we go. So we have three manga already, and these ones I don't think I know. Looks good though. So already three books for your summer book club. That's awesome. Looks like three manga. So Natsu no Hon. So books for summer 2021 looks good. Looks good. Let me show you again mine that I made. I can click on mine here. Let's look at those bookshelves here. So my name, by the way, is Akira. Akira Sensei. I'm a Japanese teacher in the U.S. And so far you can see how many books you've read. You have a kind of graph showing how many pages you've read in Japanese. Um, so up until now, I only put books, not manga. But because I want to show on my bookshelf some of the manga I've read too, because manga can be a really good bridge to reading, I did add these two manga for the first time. I added some manga. So let's take a look at this bookshelf. Like now that I'm over 200 books, I don't think I need to like care so much about the number. It's just like, okay, I've read a lot of books. Who cares? Um, so I can add manga now too. I think if I read manga from time to time. So here... To Your Eternity, very good manga, recommended. Right now, both these two are free on Amazon Japan as well. That's part of why I read them and recommended them. They're also good for learners. And uh, Flying Witch also. So two manga I read so far, starting in June. And almost finished another book. Let me show you. Again, you can look at the user page. You can see what books you're reading right now. Um, this book I'm almost done with. It's called Kagami no Kojo. The Solitary Castle in the Mirror made good progress too on uh, this manga. It's kind of about how the immune system works in the body. The main character is a red blood cell and a, a, a white blood cell. It's called Cells at Work. Hataraku Saibo. Saibo means cell. So yeah, highly recommend making a book meter. And if you want to check out our Discord, you can check out that, uh, that reading club. Let's go back to the game. Let's add some more words, make our power level go up in the game too. Of course, for the book club, you can read through Vegeta, games as well. What does the scouter say about his power level? Uh, yeah, it's true. For the bookcase, you can just add the currently, the, the finished ones, it seems like. At least it's much easier to add the finished ones. I think it might be possible, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is what I heard. Cells at work is actually pretty ac accurate medically, so I can think I can learn from that series. Yeah, Friday stream, and, and we have been doing Friday streams for a while. It's just the past three Fridays we didn't do it, because I had things going on. But uh, but in general, I think we will try to do Friday streams. But I did remove it from the schedule, because for three Fridays we didn't do it. Yeah, the bookshelf, I agree. I'm glad you dig it. I think it's really cool, too. And... Yeah, I have other bookshelves, too, that I, I recommend looking at if someone wants to link them. They're just really helpful in general. Like, again, I'm a Japanese teacher. My main goal with this channel and in general as a Japanese teacher is, is simply help people learn Japanese. A bridge to Japanese language, a bridge to Japanese culture. That's my goal. And to that end, I find the, the best things that currently exist, whether it's a game, a book, a resource, all of that. That's what I do. And, and honestly, that's what I'm good at. Um, like, I'm pretty good at teaching Japanese, I'm pretty good at playing Japanese games, but what I have found that I'm really good at is just finding the best things that currently exist in each category. I'm good at making lists, basically. So one list I did make that I think is quite good, and by the way, welcome to these new party members. If you're into Japanese books, I recommend this site highly, just Google it. Book Meter, B O O K M E T E R, highly recommended because you can show this is all the books I'm reading right now. This is all the books. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This is the books I've I've read already. Yonda Hon. This is the books I'm reading right now. This is the books I own. This is the books I want to read. You can make all those lists of your own as well. And uh, let me show you one more bookshelf just because Tokyo Sam mentioned it. So this is a small bookshelf, because I've so far just read two books starting in June. 
But uh, this will get bigger throughout the Summer Reading Club 2021. If you're into that club, check out our the new Discord channel for it, for that book reading club, the Summer Reading Club. But this bookshelf, it kind of went viral on Twitter because it's, it's just, it's a good list, apparently. So good first books to read in Japanese. Good first books in Japanese. So let me scroll down. So if you want to check out this book, if you want to get started reading books in Japanese, I recommend all the books on this list and really it's just about having options. For your first book in Japanese, what's important, something you want to read. And these are some good ones. Like over the years, from all the recommendations I've heard from learners and I've read all of these and, uh, and just the level and also from talking to Japanese learners too, Japanese readers, and what books they like to read first. Uh, these are the books I consistently saw and just seem to be really good first books. For example, Kino's Journey, Kino no Tabi, Konmini Ningen, Convenience Store Person, this Boko-chan, this is from the Master of Short Stories, really good short stories in Japanese. Uh, Colorful, also it's an anime movie, but this was the top rated by Japanese people, for Japanese people wanting to start reading books, because Japanese people too might not read books in Japanese that much. So one cool thing about learning Japanese, if you read Japanese every day, you may actually get better at reading Japanese than the average Japanese people, or at least some Japanese people, because not everyone reads books every day, whether it's no matter what your language is. In some ways, especially if you read like classical Japanese, you can definitely surpass native speakers in reading if you consistently do it for years and years and years. Um, so other great books, check them out. One we talked about on stream today, Kuma 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 Bea. This one's good. You can find it free, the web novel version too. There's also a manga and an anime. So lots of good books for first good books. Also these uh, parallel texts, for example, Breaking the Japanese Literature, Read Real Japanese. These are good too. So yeah, check out these books. Check out this list if you want to see the link. Let me link this in chat. It's my bookshelf for good first books to read in Japanese. You can also link that and check out my whole book meter if you want to, to see what books I've read. Or you can follow people too on here if you want to. You can follow me on there. Uh, so let, let me link quickly here. Ooh, I think we need one more follower now. It says, one more follower and we will reach 6,000 followers, 6,000 party members. On Japanese Quest. I think we're about to get there because of this raid from Tokyo Sam, so I do appreciate that. We're almost up to 6,000 party members. Let's go. So yeah, check out the link. That's the uh, bookshelf for good first books in Japanese. Are there any books for beginner level on Bookmeter? Yeah, because everything that's on Amazon is on Bookmeter. Everything on Amazon Japan is on Bookmeter. So like textbooks, for example, you could put on there. Or like beginner manga like Yotubato or like uh, Chi-Chi's Sweet Home, stuff like that, that's well-known, popular. Um, that's all on there. Uh, yeah, I agree, that's what I do. I always pass on the hype, rating people who are teaching Japanese, learning Japanese, or Japanese streamers. So I do appreciate it. And now let's, uh, let's go back to the game. Uh, by the way, here you can see my top ever books that I've read so far in Japanese too. I have that list as well. Uh, I really enjoy that series, Kino's Journey, Battle Royale. I enjoyed the movie, so I read the book. I like the book better, though. Um, Convenience Store Person, very good. I didn't like the anime so much, but I loved the uh, web novels of Reincarnated as, as a Slime before the anime was even thought about. I did enjoy 1Q84 by Murakami more than some of the other Murakami books I read, so I put that in top row, too. So yeah, just a lot of good books I really enjoyed. This one about an elderly knight I really enjoyed. Um, it's also an anime and a manga, I believe. Uh, here you can see Your Name, also a good book. Here's a good sci-fi book. Anyway, check those out if you're interested. Let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is rising. Thank you, Nappa, for the update. Have you read... TV people. 
I have not. I don't even think I've heard of that. What is that? Ah, uh, interesting. I just read Reincarnated as a Vending Machine. Yeah, I've heard of that one. I don't think I've read that. But I bet that's one where, like, maybe there's a free web novel you might find for that one, too. It sounds like a website or a book that would be on that website, the Shosetsu website. All right, so... So what he's saying here is the person that was with you must have been a sacrifice to that dragon as well, and you just, like... You just, like, lied about it. Silence. So you're just a child. What? What do you know? <laughs> if you want to know how to cry in Japanese, now you know. Start with an U, then maybe an A. Maybe an ooh and another a and another a and a. Maybe an mm after some. Anyway, you get the idea. But it's interesting to see how different sounds are represented in different languages. So just wanted to point that out. So what in the world is? happening. So this person here, Yoyaku-sama, they didn't defeat the dragon? The fire dragon? <laughs> if that dragon really is still alive, we're all gonna be eaten. And that is... Yeah, that is not good. Zettaini iayo. So yeah, that is not very not good. Ooh, currently you're reading. Good, good to see some uh, examples of what you are reading. Nice. <laughs> So, uh, everyone, silence. Anzuruna, Hitokui Kariu wa Wagamusko Harimaga, Kakuzitni Stometa Kariu to Sashina Harima was Shindanada. So, everyone, don't worry. Uh, really? So, my son, Harima, did definitely kill the fire dragon. And that's how he died. <laughs> yeah, good comments all, sharing what people are reading and what people are into. And so, yeah, you're just getting in the way. Jama kind of means to get in the way. And what you have done here is blasphemy against the god of fire. And at this rate, konomama dewa, so that basically means like at this rate, sato wa, so the village will be judged by the god. So we're being blamed here for bringing upon wrath of god. Never good. Is it true? Probably not. She's. We know she's lying about the dragon. And yeah, a lot of good comments. Again, if you want to check out the uh, the Summer Reading Club and share what you're reading today um, and possibly make a bookshelf for what you read this summer, um, check out the Discord. Someone could do the command to find the Discord. I'm not sure if someone did before. Probably they did. But you can find that, share what you're reading. And I'm curious, what are you reading today? I think today I will be finishing that book the castle in the uh, in the mirror. So you have to check out the Discord there. 
and find that channel, share what you're reading. People can be inspired by that. They can maybe read it too. Or if they don't read it, they can uh, at least be aware of it and then maybe someday read it. Okay, so tell me, where are you hiding your mother? And if you do it, then let's let's sacrifice her to stop the anger of this uh, fire god. How about let's not do that? Do we really need human sacrifices in this day and age, even in Dragon Quest's day and age? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. <sighs> Again, we see... Yeah. So yeah, I... No, I'm not going to do that. So who's going to... No one's going to pass my mom to you. Settaini means for sure. Watasarai. I will not pass over my mom to you. Good. That's a sound decision. <laughs> when in doubt, don't pass over your mom to crazy people that want to sacrifice her to a volcano. That's a pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> What? What was that sound just now? So, ima, good word. Now, oto, good word, means sound. So, what was that sound just now? Ma Masaka. What could it be? <laughs> what? What could it be? Oh no. Quick, everyone, go outside. Um, maybe the dragon is here, possibly? We're gonna see. And yeah, thanks, Kelly and Kanji, for linking the Discord earlier. If you're into checking out our summer reading club, if you want to read Japanese every day this summer, which I do recommend if you want to read Japanese, um,. You might as well read every day. Check out the Discord. We got a reading channel. We also have a summer reading club channel for right now. Here we go. Ooh, yep. Looks dragony. <laughs> The person eating fire dragon has come out, so I think now at least uh, we know that she was lying and we were not. <laughs> this could be a fight that we do not survive. <laughs> Like, let's remember, there is some kind of spell that protects you from death. Like, not death, breath attacks. And dragons generally have a breath attack. Let's remember to do that, at least. So that's the dragon we saw at the volcano. Just like we thought it's... Now it's attacked the village. So the village again, Sato village, Sato o Osoi ni Kita. So it now came to attack the village. Oso by itself is to attack. If you say Osoi ni Kuru, it came to attack the village. This n dot at the end kind of just means we're explaining the situation. <laughs> Oh, they got crossbows. <laughs> I like this sentence. I think 
I'd like to see if people in chat want to give a try translating this sentence. Because, Japanese Quest, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after a quick break and see if someone wants to try to translate that sentence. See what's happening. See what this guy just said with his crossbow here. And uh, Japanese Quest will be back after a short break. Itekimasu.
Tadaima. Champions Quest is back. Let's go. It never really went though, did it? Uh, yeah, looks like some good translations I'm seeing. By Screer, I see a good one here. Everybody don't flinch. Yep, that's this part. Hidumu is to flinch. Hidumu, if you add na, it means don't flinch. Protect our village from that wicked flame incarnation. Yep, ano ja aku naru, so that's wicked, good. Um, hono no keshin means uh, flame incarnation, so that looks good. And then protect village, you have that, which is sato o mamoru. Yeah, great translation, sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, I did push ups too. How many push ups did everyone do? I did, I think I did like 30 jumping jacks, 15 push ups plus, plus one more like slow push up, and how about you? What did you do? Although before stream today, I did 125 push ups in a row. I'm slacking, I'm slacking. Before I was doing 130 to 140, I've got to get up there again. I'm slacking. I missed one workout one day. I got I got I got to get back up there again. Although I hit a new record in pull-ups 21 a couple days ago, so that's good. All right. Let's uh Let's see how's our Discord doing. Ooh, some people joined. Sweet. Someone else. Let me, we must check. Ooh, gold bat. Sweet. Made a book meter account just to add to the hype. Yep, that's what we do. Add to the hype and book meter account. That's awesome. Uh, let's click on it. So here is gold bat. You can make your account too. Yeah, a really good book. I recommend for reading. So right now they're reading Colorful. Very good book. And they don't yet have a bookshelf, Hondano. But if you want, you can always make one of those for the reading club. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend this book. It's a good first book, potentially. And uh, I can see my notifications. Ooh, Tokyo Sam and Gold Bat both followed me. Ooh, Tokyo Sam, you have a bookshelf too? Let's see what Tokyo Sam has read. I don't know if you're still here, Tokyo Sam, but uh, let's check it out. Uh, by the way, let's, uh, let's follow Gold Bat. Let's check out Tokyo Sam too. We can fo follow Tokyo Sam here too. And currently reading. Ah, yeah, these are the books that you mentioned you're reading. So first, Furin no Jo. So Jo is like feelings. So I'm thinking it's probably like the feelings of adultery or like an affair, because Furin's affair. Um, this is a word that I'm not so familiar with, which is part of why I didn't read it when it came up on stream, because I'm not sure how these three words, these three kanji, fit together. The dictionary is not sure either. Um, but I'm guessing it's like something like like kyo um yeah kyo fudon something like that like something like a strong father theory because Ron is theory Chi Chi is father kyo is strong so something about that anyway I'll check out those two books as well Looks good. Let's go back to the game. Sweet, yeah, I added you as well. So yeah, everyone make your... Uh... Ooh, you have Learn Natively. Yeah, Learn Natively is good too. Thanks for putting that Pokemon. So Learn Natively is also very good. That's one, it's similar to Bookmeter, but it's, it's just starting out and it's more for learners. But it's a really, really good site. So Pokemon, it shows what Pokemon is reading on, on this site. The reason this one's so good Things are ranked by level. See, these are all N5. These are all graded readers. So check out this site too. It's called Natively. It's very, very, very good. I made an account here too. So it says recently read, currently reading. And these, I recommend these graded readers for people starting out reading. And uh, let me see. Let's go to Natively. So this is what I'm currently reading here uh i actually have one too for japanese quest on natively and uh, let me look at my profile 
So natively also a good site. So it says my favorite books because here you can rate books. So here are some of them. Um, this one is quite challenging, so you can see the level here. This one is, is ranked advanced and one level 46, one of the highest books on this site. And this is a uh, Woman in the Dunes, Suna no Onna by Abe Kobo. I do recommend it, but it's a more advanced book. Uh, this one is really good. Night Market, Yoichi. This level, about N3 level, kind of high N3 level, level 29. Uh, level 28, a bit lower, is the Kino series. And Kimbini Ningen, about the same. And the way these get ranked is really cool and unique to this website, as far as I've seen. It shows everything else I've read here. Uh, the problem with this site, it's, it's new, so not every book is on here yet, but uh, it's growing. So I recommend joining this book. Add more books to it. You grade books. That's how you do it. Uh, let me see if I can show you how that works. Um, where can I grade books anyway? I forget how that works. So go to Natively. Here's the main site. Let's do all books. So the really cool thing, you can look at all the popular books that have been uploaded by other Japanese learners. Some really good manga like Cheese Sweet Home we talked about. Books like Kitchen is very popular. I've read that too. I've not read this, but I've looked at it. It's good for learners for sure. Um, you can rank everything by popularity, by all learners. So we have these uh, graded readers, Tadoku, very good. Yotsubato, of course, very popular. Genki textbook is even on there, very popular. Kiki's Delivery Service I just read. It's a good book for learners. Um, this book is great because it's, it's just a, it's a manga with a limited vocabulary. So like you can read it even at say N5 level. Um, this one, Flying Witch. The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. All these great books are on here and they're rated by other learners. And the way that works, you kind of, uh, you can add books. You can request to add a book, but also, I'm trying to find this functionality. I still don't know how to, like, know how to like navigate this place. Uh, let's go to browse. You can browse all books. It seems like this is changing too, because it's being updated. But this book is really good, and this site's really good. It's something to keep watching. So my resources, these are the books I've already read. Like, where's the thing where I can grade more books? I can't even find it. My gradings, ah, here we go. So grade more books, I'll show you how that works. This is how these levels are made. Again, you can check the level of each book for some reason not, not showing there. So it shows you two books and uh, just say which is more difficult. For these two, so it's, these are all books that I've read. So this one is Snow Country. That's from like a hundred years ago. This is Suna no Onna. That's from like 60 years ago. So the, the book that's a hundred years ago is gonna be more difficult generally and it, in this case it was. So I'd say this one was harder, although good book, Yukiguni, Snow Country, recommended. Okay, so now, what's harder? Um, Chichi to Lan, Breast Snags, or Women in the Dunes. This one's more tricky, I'm not sure which is harder, but probably Women in the Dunes might be a little harder, is what I think. This is a more recent book, even though there's a lot of Kansai Ben in it. I'm gonna say this book is harder overall. You could say the same, but I'm gonna say this is harder. Uh, so this is also by Abe Kobo, Ningen Tsukuri. I loved this book, especially the ending. The ending was one of the weirdest flip your mind endings I've ever seen, because the ending of this book made you question your own reality. Like what if we are all in a story in some kind of weird sci-fi story and we don't know it? It really made you think that at the end of this book. It's hard to explain, but that's what that book did. But again, though, I'd, I'd say this is about the same as Women in the Dune, same author, Abe Kobo. So I'll say Yukiguni Harder. So yeah, I recommend this site. Add everything you've read, whether it's manga, whether it's books, whatever, and you can start rating things like this. So I'll say again, this is Harder. Norwegian Wood. These are two Murakami books. So this is about the same because it's both Murakami. So I'll say same. Uh, however, Spice and Wolf is actually a pretty tricky light novel. That's what this is, and I'd say that is harder than Norwegian Wood. 
Murakami is pretty easy as far as Japanese, Japanese lit goes. All you need is kill. I don't remember what would be harder here. I think probably all you need is kill might be harder, honestly. I'll go with that. Uh, for this one, Garden of Words, good book, also an anime. What's harder? This one, I don't know. So, I'm going to say not sure. Skip this one. Anyway, you get the idea. Again, this is both Murakami, so probably the same. Um, Harry Potter versus Murakami. That's a, that's a good question. I don't even know. That's about the same, maybe. Honestly, Murakami might be easier than Harry Potter to me. I don't know. What do you think in chat? Have you read both these anyway? Anyone? I think I have to skip this one because I just don't know. Anyway, let's go back to the game. But you get the idea. Cool website, natively. Check it out. You can put all the books you've read and help other learners by finding these gradings. So you can view all the gradings. You can view other people's gradings, which is cool too. Anyway, very much very worth checking out for learners and uh, the one thing I wish I wish I could import all my books from Bookmeter to the site that you can't do you have to like re-put them in which is kind of annoying but otherwise good site let's go back to the game Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level Harry Potter would be harder for me because I find the book boring yeah I think you might be right in general though I think it might actually be harder I'm not sure um yeah, Norwegian Wood. It's not really about Norway. It's more about depressed people in a forest, as I recall. But uh, but yeah, it was a huge, huge hit in Japan um, for Murakami. It's when they became really famous in Japan, I believe. Uh, Harry Potter gets harder as it goes, in a sense, but it kind of balances out because, like, as you go, it gets easier because you get used to it and you kind of like learn the words. So it kind of it kind of balances out, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it does become more advanced, but... Okay, again. We got crossbows. It's a serious situation. We're talking about books, but really we shouldn't because there's a dragon. Yosh! Karate! Yosh! Fire! Ooh. Yosh! So one more shot. <laughs> so please, please stop. Do not kill this dragon. <laughs> What are you doing? I guess they didn't say what are you doing. They said, <laughs> what did you see? They said her name. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Wanaka ga suiteru no ne. I understand you're hungry, aren't you? Sa, kono watashi o dakara mo sato no hito. So I think she's saying now. Why did I circle her mouth? I just learned don't do this ever. Don't circle people's mouths. It looks weird. Don't do that. Uh, she's saying eat me. Kono watashi o. So I think she's changing her tune. Maybe now let's not eat this person's mom. Let's eat me instead. Yeah, that sounds more fair. Yeah, I like how the, the dragon was waiting for our book club. <laughs> what? I didn't think that would actually happen. She was eaten by the dragon. Even though I've done a playthrough of this before, I don't remember really what happens in a lot of this. Um... Not exactly. She was eaten. Wow. So, Karyu, Fire Dragon, ni Taberareta. That's Taberu in the passive form. 
passive fast pass form so was eaten so good what how could you eat our yayakusama our leader everyone let's avenge her fire fire Kawaii. I'm afraid it's time we're gonna have to fight this thing. At this rate, this village will be destroyed by the dragon. Again, we keep seeing the dragon with the knee particle because it keeps being the dragon doing things to the village, doing things to the people that are being eaten. Um, so you see the passive form plus knee, which is showing the kind of the agent of who's doing this stuff. The village will be destroyed. Can you please defeat him? Because I'm not confident we can beat him. People in chat said the dragon is really strong. So I'm scared now. And I would prefer if everyone in the village would just kill it with their crossbows. But if we have to, I guess we have to. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hi streamer. Hi chat. Hi Mal Sharp. Yokozo. Japanese customer, welcome. I guess we have time to like save if we want. Or like go to the inn. What's the situation right here? Yeah, they're saying like shoot basically, Mal Sharp. Yeah. They're not saying like the word fire if you know it like like a fire that like a fireplace they're saying like Ute, which means like you know shoot fire whatever different ways to say it in english uh so i think now the dragon's probably down here hmm. are we ready for this battle i hope so what lineup i'm thinking our lineup is good anyone know the strat for this dragon like can you sleep them or can you uh Poison them, anyone know? That'd be good info for our our knives to sleep or poison them potentially. Uh Yeah, maybe we could switch in someone else. Like I think we want defensive with Greg. We can do some breath spells with with Ro. Maybe Sylvia can team up with Kamiu to see if the knives work, because Sylvia does have the nasty knives that work a bit better, and they, these people can all be back up. But we were told this is a tough fight, so let's be a little defensive here. Shinitakudai. I don't want to die. We only died once in this game on the squid. Let's try to keep that up for now at least. That's pretty good for me because I'm not good at games and we're kind of rushing because the main goal is language. Uh, so they're asking the question that makes me want to say no. Would you like to fight with this fire dragon? Let's say yeah, no. Uh, that makes me think, like, what if they have, like, good weapons up there? They've got, like, a weapon shop. Let's just check it out. Why not? Because if you die, sometimes, like, they take your weapons. If we get, like, a quick upgrade, like, uh, we'll just chill. The dragon can be there for a while. Let's check out the weapon shop. Why not? They might have good weapons here. Might as well check. we got some money built up, I think. We haven't bought weapons for a long time. The online guide says cast... Oomphal and spam Dragon Slash. Yeah, that sounds good. I think. Yeah, Oomphal is the one that's a plus attack, and then Dragon Slash, the main hero, has. I think also. That other guy, General Greg, has it. So yeah, maybe we should put the hero back in. That's a good tip. Do you know if poison or sleep work? Because we do like those. Um.
Oh no! They don't let us get weapons right now? No good. Oh well. I guess we gotta fight the dragon. Yeah, if if it did say that dragon slash tactic, that might be a good one. Let's uh maybe change back our Nakama to someone who has dragon slash. Do it. Yeah, that would be funny on Bobshis. I was hoping we'd get like a dragon sail. So don't let down your guard. How do you say that? You don't suruna. So don't let down your guard because this thing wants human flesh, human meat. Hito no chiniku. Blood and flesh. So yeah, basically it's freaking out, wanting to eat people. If you ever like want to roar like a dragon, but like a furry dragon, that's how you do it in Japanese. Koi. I'm scared. Okay, so this guy's flying. Okay, first thing, we do like the spell where you can get consistent damage with this thing. Uh, so that's to a group, this is to one. I'm thinking we can do this one. When it acts, it will get damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh my god. I see what you mean about big damage here. Um... So I kind of wanted to do Dragon Slash, but I think we need to heal right now. Yeah, this guy hits hard. Let's try to not die. So first things first, um... It seemed like that was a physical damage attack, so let's do a physical barrier to everyone. Hopefully that helps a bit. And then let's do that breath barrier, because I'm guessing this guy's a dragon. He probably does breath. Uh, where is this breath barrier? I think that was a spell. Yeah, this guy hits hard. We don't like that. So yeah, this is for everyone's breath damage. Reduce that. You have to think that's good on a dragon. <laughs> That's funny that they did that in Final Fantasy X. You know if we fail, you die. You still want to charge us? Yeah, they really should have done that here, too. Okay, now we got some breath damage. So what do you think? What do you think should be our focus? Sleep or poison? Like, I don't know what works. I don't know if anyone Googled it, but I just don't know. Yeti, konnichiwa. So let's vote. We can vote for... Uh, Sleep or poison? What's your vote? Doku or sleep? Neburu koku. Which? What's your vote for? Sleep or poison? We're gonna go with one. Sleep worked very well on that other dragon that we fought, so maybe sleep could work. Poison didn't work on him, um, so we vote for poison. Two votes for for poison. So most people think poison. Did, did you look it up? Is it in fact poison? That can work and, and sleep will not work. So we have four, four votes for poison. So poison should work more. Like Normally it works more, but that other dragon that we fought that was pretty tough was sleep. So maybe this one is 
Poison? Don't really know. Let's try Poison. No, I didn't look it up. Okay, let's try Poison. Probably won't work, but... Yay, Poison does work. Good. That's very good. And then we can now do Dragon Slash. Thanks for the votes. It worked. Poison worked. So we can keep that up. And now let's do Dragon Slash. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. okay, so I'm thinking... Regen on everyone could be good. Let's do Regen on everyone. We'd like that. Just some general healing. Okay, here we can do Dead Kragen Slash as well. But uh, should we do more defensive stuff? Magic Barrier, maybe. I'm not sure if Magic Barrier is good, but let's just be careful. Let's just be defensive. Let's get a Magic Barrier going. Okay, so Poison worked. The question is now, do we do... Do we do Split? I think we probably do. Let's do Boonshin. And then try to get a big Poison hit. And now let's do another... Dragon Slash, or we might want to heal Kamu because we definitely want Kamu to survive. Let's uh, let's be careful and heal Kamu, so we can do that big attack. Yeah, that was a good call. Whoa, he died anyway. Holy, yeah, he really did not want that uh, Boonshin attack. So we can revive now, or at least we can try. I think the best revive tactic we have is just the 50% chance revive. So that's no good. Yeah, this guy's no joke. And that was with our barriers and whatnot. He really does not like... Kamu. Where's our revive, anyway? Yeah, this is why the thing, this thing sucks so much. It only works half the time, I think. Yep, stop. Okay, I think just to be safe, we have to heal. We need Kamu. Okay, now forget it. Let's just do a let's just do a poison attack. Without the Boonshin. Because the poison may run out. Pretty good damage. Alright, we can get the uh, dragon attack in. I'm wondering if we should bring in uh, Silvando to get some of attack bonuses. Just wondering who should bring him in for. Oh no, Kamu has no buffs, so that's not good. We could do that buff again. Just to be safe. Not sure if we have breath damage, but why not? He <laughs> tight. So then we could do a big defense buff on one person, Kamu, who seems to need it. Now his buff for defense is even greater, which hopefully can help. And uh, now the poison's run out, let's try to poison again. Ah, uh, no poison that time. Alright, I kind of want to try our new technique just to try it out. Like, I know Dragon Slash is good, but let's try our new sword dance. Since we're buffed, I think that might raise the chance of critical hit, so let's see this attack. Okay, not that spectacular, but pretty good. Um, let's uh, Dragon Slash again. We're making progress. It's, it's down by half already, so let's keep up what we're doing. I think we can win this. Uh, please don't kill him again. Yeah, it seems like his buffs did help there. Let's heal him. Uh, 
Let's get some poison going again if, if we can. Nice, it worked. Dragon Slash? Yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, it might have been a bit stronger than Dragon Slash. Yeah, you're probably right. A bit stronger. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's debuff this dude. If we can't buff our guys, let's at least debuff the dude. We can probably make his defense go down. Shubi Ryoku, so that's defense. Kanari, that means a lot. Kanari Saget, so make the defense go down a lot. Let's try that. It worked. Let's see Dragon Slash now. We're in trouble now. Uh, so I feel like we might be able to kill this thing now. So let's just try to end this. Poison attack. There's some good damage. Easy fight, honestly. Nicely done, everyone. Yatta. Level up. Level up in the game, level up in real life, in Japanese, that's what we do. Yeah, we've, 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 we've become strong because uh, we've, we have so many skills now. When you use them, you can be quite powerful in this game if you know how to use them properly. So like between poison, poison attack, dragon slash, like all these defensive moves, we're pretty strong now. Definitely not unbeatable, but like stronger than we used to be. Yatta. Thank you for the hype. Yatta ze. <coughs> you still need to save her? Oh, do we? Oh, no. Do we have to fight him again? It'll be like tougher then, maybe. Oh, no. Sasuga Anchan da. So thank you so much for saving our village from the fire dragon. Ah,ヤヤク様が一食いカリュウに食べられてしもった。もうホムラの里は終わりじゃ。uh, so our, the leader in our village, Yayakusama, she was eaten by the dragon. This is the end of our village. Yeah, this is a good question for Chad, and here you can see the kanji for dragon. View, dragon. Uh, but the word dragon in katakana is also a word for dragon. Doragon. That kind of means generally more of a western style dragon, whereas Ryu is generally an eastern style dragon, but it depends. It depends. Both can kind of mean both, in my experience. So they, she died, her son died. To who's gonna save us? Who's gonna protect us now? Yayak-chan, how did Sato so hitokui karu o anna ni hishi ni kabatta no kashira? So why did the village leader protect the dragon so much? I wonder. Minna o uragitte ta yatsu no koto nante, oi ra shiritaku mo nai yo. Dou datte ii janai ka, sonna koto. So someone who betrays the village, the word. For for betraying. Uragiru is the verb. So someone who betrayed the village, like I don't even care. I don't want to know why she did it. It doesn't matter. Anchan, so you're more hurry up. 
逃げた人食いカリウを追わないとほっといたらまた里を襲いに来るよ But more importantly, we need to chase the dragon. If we leave it alone, it'll attack the village again. Oiga tachi ga hajimete atta basho. Oboete ru? Ano sandou no saki ni aru sanmon wo nukereba hitokui kariu no negura ni ikeru hazu da yo. So do you remember where we first met? Hajimete first atta to meet basho place and then uh, oboete ru to remember. So, Hajimete Atabasho Oboiteru. Do you remember the place we first met? And uh, yeah, we, yeah, we do. It's near the volcano. Um, near that. If you go through that gate, we can find the dragon's lair. Let's go there. Yeah, I'm feeling that too, Screer. Sanmon no Kagiwa. Yayaku no Jijo ga motteru hazu. Yayaku no Yashiro ni itte miyo, Anchan. Okay, so that key for that gate should be up where Yayakusama was. So let's go there in her house. Ja, matane. See you later. So yeah, let's get that Kagi now. I'm curious, like, will we... Like, can we, like, get armor or weapons now that the threat has passed for now? Probably not, but I kind of just jumped through that before and didn't read anything. When it comes to shops, I really don't feel like reading everything they say all the time. Yeah, they still don't have stuff. Moody, moody. It's all good. Yep, it looks like we might end up fighting that dragon yet again. Let's save the game here. We did defeat the dragon after all. Yeah, maybe go the inn as well. There's an inn right here. I think we can't sleep like you can with a camp. Konnichiwa. Hi, Tomaru. Stay over. Get some good rest. Get our mana back from beating that dragon. Yeah, I wonder if the dragon will be tougher if we fight him again. That did seem a bit easier than I was expecting. Although it did do some big damage. It seems like the barriers probably helped. And to be fair, we did have one character die. Okay, so we're going back up there to that shrine. Yeah, hit strong but had low, pretty low health, yeah. It's true. So this is a cool gateway. I'm thinking for today we may end the stream right about here, but really quickly too, I want to quick check out the Discord one more time. Uh, so yeah, some people might have posted again. Let's take a look. So could someone link the Discord, please? If anyone wants to check out the Discord over the weekend, you can join our summer reading club, Japanese Quest Summer Reading Club, a new thing for the first time ever we started this week. So check out the Discord. Someone can link it with the command. You can see right there. Thank you, Screer, for linking that. And here is the Discord. Just find it. Quests Summer Reading Club. And here, the quest for today was quest five. You can check all the quests and the pins up here. All the different pins. The main one, read Japanese every day this summer. You level up every day. And today, you can jump there, find a way to measure your progress, share your progress. For example, make a book meter, share your book meter, and then you can make a bookcase to show all the books you've read this summer that you can save for the rest of your life. You'll see what you read this summer. 
So Kelly made a bookshelf, I made a bookshelf too. I'll link mine later. Uh, you can follow each other too. And someone else, Goldpat Bat, made a book meter as well. I saw Tokyo Sam made a book meter. You can check theirs out. They're all kind of linked on the, the site book meter too. Natively is another option. It's uh, for learners, but also you can log what books you read. Um, yeah, a really good series on there called the Tadoku series, which means extensive reading is what, sh what Tadoku means. And uh, very cool. I downloaded a bunch to my Kindle. That sounds awesome. Ooh, nice. I like the book meter site. So you made a book meter as well. Cool, let's check out this one. Let's link here, maybe. Cool, so currently you're reading these three books. Let's follow this person as well. We can all follow each other and see what we're reading on this Summer Reading Club. And later, if you want, you can make a book, a bookcase here for the books that you read. Sweet, looks like some good different things you're reading right now. I'll check that out later. And let's go back to Discord. And this one's so good. Let's uh, say, let's give some Griffin coins. Let's give a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, anyone else, join the Discord. Check out the Summer Reading Club if you're into, if you ever want to read Japanese, now is the time. Summer is a great time for reading. You can read outside, you can read inside, you can read when it's too hot to go outside. And uh, yeah, just read a little bit every day. And find this Discord, share what you're reading, and just show what you're reading. You can show pictures, you can make a book meter, and really just hang out, see what people are reading, and have some fun. So let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? So again, find the Discord, jump on there, join the book club. Timbershake says, thanks, Sensei, I have learned something new today. And thanks to everybody here in Japanese Quest. Yeah, thanks for joining. Bold to learn web stuff in your target language? Yeah, that is bold, but it could be a good way to learn. Again, take all your interests and kind of learn them in your target language. It's a good method. So I will say today, ja! Matane, see you next time. Japanese Quest will continue next week, Monday, at the same time, 9 a.m. Central, Monday. Japanese Quest will continue the book club the Summer Reading Club will continue as well. Check it out on the Discord. And in general on the Discord, just you can get other Japanese learning resources, videos, fun stuff. Just talk to people, uh, just like we do in chat, but uh, after stream as well. So jump! Mata, mata ne, see you next time. Japanese Quest will continue, but uh, let's find someone to raid. We were raided before. Let's pass on the learning hype. Who shall we raid? That is the question. We must raid Game Grammar again. Two days in a row, let's let's raid Game Grammar again, another Japanese teacher. They're watching some crazy stuff that looks like it's karaoke in Japanese. Yeah, let's do that, let's raid that. Uh, so let's raid Game Grammar, let's start that now. So, ja! Matane, see you next time! Japanese Quest will continue next time, same time, Monday, 9 a.m. Central Time. Ja! Japanese Quest will continue.